AAA says this is going to be the busiest Thanksgiving travel period since 2005. If you look back here, you can see things are moving pretty steadily. It's actually less busy now than we saw this morning. We were up around a little before five this morning and it started to pick up gradually. But since later on this afternoon is really the peak travel time, those early risers say they are glad to be well on their way. Hey, happy Thanksgiving! Travelers at the Miami International Airport were in the holiday spirit even in the early morning hours. I figured it'd be crazy here today, so get here early and get it all done. Many say they wanted to beat the big crowds, even if it meant an early wake up time. <laughs> Don't ask me that. <laughs> 4 a.m. Well, actually, I haven't slept since yesterday, since I woke up yesterday, so I've, I've been up for nearly 24 hours. The kids, though, God bless them, they do great. But it was worth it to beat the major rush. Oh my God, it's, there's no line. Probably smart because AAA says Wednesday through Sunday, more than 54 million Americans will travel 50 or more miles from home. A 5% increase from last year. 10 years, Ten years that we go uh, this week for the, for the, to the celebrate my husband's birthday and Thanksgiving. Some are traveling to stick with tradition and others for a new twist. Every single year we go and ski and travel, yeah. To Colorado. <laughs> Maybe some guacamole too. Foot traffic began to build by 7 in the morning. Long lines were forming by security. Miami International Airport expects 130,000 a day on their peak days, Wednesday and Sunday. But for the early risers, they were glad to be well on their way to their destination. Check in was a breeze. Nice. So we beat the rush. Taking a look again at conditions now, you see kind of a lull in the day compared to what we saw a little bit earlier, even taking some time to put up Christmas decorations. We just skipped right past Thanksgiving. I did speak with Greg Chin. He's the director of communications, and he says at those peak hours of travel, they are going to bring in canine units to help with the flow of security and make that process go a little bit faster. He says they will be bringing in the first team at 2 o'clock. For now, live at the Miami International Airport, Carly Barnett, CBS4 News.